You know, I uh, spilled a yogurt smoothie in here two days ago. <laughs> Can't smell anything, can you? Banana? <laughs> right. George, watch out for those pigeons. Oh, don't get out of the way. You really smell banana? <gasps> oh, my God! <gasps> so, uh, where are we eating? You've been an enormous help. You ran over some pigeons? How many? Whatever they had. <laughs> Miranda thinks I'm a butcher, but it's not my fault, is it? Don't we have a deal with the pigeons? <laughs> of course we have a deal. They get out of the way of our cars, we look the other way on the statue defecation. Right. And these pigeons broke the deal. I will not accept the blame for this. So Miranda's cooled on you. I'm getting nothing. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> clock is, is eight minutes off. And why don't you just run it over, too? Zing. <laughs> George, what are you doing? Did you see that? The, the, the pigeon didn't move. I had to swerve to get out of the way. I saved that pigeon's life. <laughs> what pigeon? You drove right into that squirrel. Squirrel? Oh, we have no deal with them. Doctor, is the squirrel going to live? There's been massive trauma. We could, of course, try to save him, but it would be costly, difficult, and we'd have to send away for some special, really tiny instruments. <laughs> well, uh, are there any other options? We could put him to sleep. What might that cost? Well, it's by the pound, so about 80 cents. Well, it's just I'm curious, that's all. We, uh... We'd like you to do everything possible. He, um, he's not going to be the same, you know. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. <laughs>